Which one is it? That one. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to Sweat Equity. And we're in the Sweat Lodge studio, which has now become a fart box of heat. Right off the bat. Yep. Um, I got stuff Powerful. locked in. I got some stuff locked and loaded, baby. Um, good thing this is on um, smell vision, right? All right. Uh, with that. <laughs> Um, wow, this is the sloppiest intro, but we're keeping it all. We don't take it out. Uh, we're the number one comedy business podcast in the world. Pragmatic entrepreneur advi- ed- entrepreneurial advice That'd with real great. raw dog That'd talk. Be the best episode ever. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> you say that all the time, though. Yeah, but well, it's a funny thing to say. You know, there's a boy who cr- cried stroke. Hey, why don't you uh, put your wallet in my mouth just in case I don't choke in my tongue? Okay. Thank God, you said wallet. Yeah, yo, that's. I'm talking about your ham wallet. Yeah, I know. You're mussy. All right. Listen to us on uh, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook. Your mom's Sony Walkman. Uh, This episode sponsored by Squarespace. Yeah. The content management system that's better than WordPress, Wix, and Weebly. That's not in their copy, but I'll say it. Yeah. You got that Weebly. You need to make a site on your own with your two little paws and you don't know how to code. Don't worry about it. Squarespace has got you the hookup. Holler if you hear me. I want money. Now it's just one template. Not a bunch of templates to choose from. Just one template that's all adjustable, all customizable. Scalability. I if thought you, it should have been like that a long time ago. I mean, we you did. I do remember you saying that uh, <laughs> in the office. Like, this is dumb. Right. Why do I have to Ooh, switch templates? Yeah. Uh, so now they're even getting better. I, I, you know, every year they improve, whereas WordPress just kind of is stagnantly well, okay. They finally listen to us. Right. And that's why they're sponsored on this podcast. The uh, link to a discount is in the episode description. Let's get it started. Hotty toddy. Whoa. What yeah. about my sweat oh, equity? Sorry for the highness. Sweat equity. Sweat equity. My sweat equity. My, my sweat equity. We had a uh, a guest that had to cancel kind of last second on us yesterday. I couldn't really wrangle a guest. Um, we That's might okay. We might do guest roulette on my phone. Maybe. Nah. Yeah, maybe. We haven't talked in a minute. We'll just talk. We haven't talked in a minute, but um, I want money. I just want to randomly call Lonnie Love and just say what's up. Who's that again? Comedian. She's yep. on the Chew or the Talk or one of those shows. Like the the the, the black chick, the View for black chicks or something. Oh, that, that's not what they they call it. The Chew. <sighs> There's one called the Chew for sure because I was like the Chew. Wow. Okay. It's, I mean, I'm just I'm taking it back. The Chew. I kind of like it. <laughs> what the Chew? Depending, I don't know. It depends on what it is. Uh, well, don't Google that, dude. The Chew. Oh, we've got your screen that we can put on here. Watch out. Yeah. There he is googling. Or don't show them everything. Yeah. Well, okay. If, if you are looking at the video, I do have a uh, extension on my uh, on my Chrome that's keywords everywhere. If you want to look up keywords, just have that always in there. Uh huh. Neil Patel, I think uh, that's his thing. That's a good advice. I mean, what were you looking up? The Chew. The Chew. It was on nothing. Huh? You didn't find anything. Where's pictures? The Chew is a American <laughs> cooking theme talk show that aired for seven seasons. From twenty, but that's not her show. I think it's the talk. Hold on, stay with me. Oh, uh, that sounds like a terrible name for a show. The talk. Well, let me tell you this much: I have nothing but love for Lonnie Love. She's always been nice to me. Uh, I haven't seen her in probably eight years. But Why did she come up? Uh, just I was trying to think of random people to call that I haven't talked to. In oh, a while. okay. So there's no context. No, whatsoever. well, I've been meaning to uh, hit her up to come on the show, but I'm like, uh, you know, we might have to call Tripoli. We might have to call some people. Nah. We don't have to do it right now. I'm just saying. That's what we call a tease, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's see whose that's, voicemail is that's the real, interesting. <laughs> that's the reward at the end of the show. Right. <laughs> um, who are we going to call? Maybe Burt Kreischer. I don't we know. We can see who chucks us the voice, like just does the, you know, reject call right away. Well, if you away. FaceTime Burt, uh, apparently he picks up. Like that's his deal. But uh, maybe not when I do it. Yeah. I, I heard he got dosed on Molly while he, Ari Shafir dosed him. That was like Came over five dinner. years ago. I was just watching it, something his wife and Christina P. talking about it. That was five years ago at but his that, house? That incident happened like four or five years ago, I think. Well, 
Well, and then they dose news to me. They dose Big J on uh, Legion of Skanks, who, by the way, oh, I need to show you this. Okay. So, have you ever taken a dab? Mm, maybe. So I couldn't sleep last night. Was watching Legion of Skanks. Uh, they they record every Monday night from the stand in New York, and uh, and Bert was on there a month ago and called me. <laughs> Right, while right, on the right, show, right, right, while right, okay, I was watching I it, that. and I was like, "What the fuck is going?" On? And it didn't yep. click in while I was watching. Um, but uh, what's it called? You ever taken a dab? You know what that is? What do you is that? What do you put in it? Is it wax? <sighs> that you put the it's like in? the most like potent weed. Like I feel like I did it once. <laughs> the fact that you're closing your Maybe. eyes <laughs> makes me believe you. <laughs> Probably once. Well, I think I did. So what, How do you do it? Is that where you take, you got to have like, uh, you got to heat up the stove and put two butter knives on there. Something like that. And run up and you can sh- quick suck it fast. So, dude, I, so I was watching it. it, it it's like, it, to me, it feels like uh, when you used to get like the most potent like oil okay. together. It's not like, it, I don't think it's flour. It's like, it feels like a little bit of like a, not a jelly, but a hardened kind of. All right. Something. I don't know. Uh, very viscous looking. And okay. then you light it with like a butane lighter. Right, 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 right. And it right. gets you like super fucked up. Yeah. High. Um, and how do they dose them with that? Well, no, they, the, the dosing thing on there was like another another thing, like an appendage to the Burt thing. Uh, they dosed them with uh, acid. <laughs> oh. Um, Shane what goes, are you talking about the dab for? Because the I'm, gonna, I'm getting to that. So the dab last night, I'm watching the, okay. the live stream of last night. Um <clears throat> And he takes the dab and fucking passes out live on TV and like looks like he almost has a seizure, like takes it and just is like head down and then like arm like shifting and then like gets up and is like, what's what? And they're like, you just fucking passed out, dude. We thought you were dying. <laughs> I'm going to find they it. Actually, I, he was. <laughs> I, did, I mean, how did they react? That's what I want to know. It's like they thought he was fucking around, right? They were like, "Oh, here we go." So Dave Smith's next to him and is like, he's laughing, <laughs> and then they're like, "Oh no, the, you're our meal ticket. You're <laughs> you're the funniest one of us," kind of thing. Yeah, um, uh, I'll see if I can find that clip. But it was like, holy shit, that's scary, dude. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I mean, I, I've never heard of that from basically weed. Well, I. But I mean, what do you do? You just pass out. Well, um, so I'm sleepy immediately is what it is. Yeah, no, this was different. This almost like if, without if, some other sort of drug in there, like uh, I think I want to say because really I, I listened to the bonfire on uh, on uh, Sirius with him and Dan Soder, and uh, I want to say he was serious. Yeah, sorry, uh, he was. I, I think he was starting to take roids too. So, like, my guess is that combo. But if I can find that uh, that clip while. If it doesn't take too long, but what's going on in your world? <laughs> what? Did you do any prep whatsoever? Um, no, because uh, I don't know. I told you I spent 20 minutes troubleshooting our camera for the thing, only to realize it was the wrong cord that I had plugged in. It was just to another camera and popped in. How about that? So, Audio visuals. So what did what did we learn? <laughs> um, check the cords. Yeah. Um, Remember, we used to have a checklist of everything, like, because we're so dumb sometimes with this stuff. Yeah. All right. I was going to say, how much of what you have going on can we talk about? Yeah. That's uh, interesting. Because I kind of have the same, not a lot new happening right now, right? I I did have, well, I can't, we want to talk about Avery's birthday party sleepover that we had over here. We can, if there's something you got. Uh, there you got any hot takes? I don't know. <laughs> it happened. Uh, yeah. It You're was... very laissez-faire dad with that kind of stuff, I think. Mm. Just, uh, you guys go do your thing. Well, it wasn't so much you that. You don't want to be a helicopter dad. No, it was just that my beautiful fiance had everything planned out to a T. He had a great time. That's so nice. We did a <laughs> photo shoot. That's one part I contributed, set up the, uh, the big white backdrop. That is super cool that, for know, them. Got some fun photos of the girls. They put on like Jess's old dresses and things. And Jess's dolled. dresses. <sighs> Write that down. When are you getting married? Do you know? No. <coughs> we need to figure that out. <laughs> You're really doing it like a hood couple. <sighs> no, like, what? That's, I'm just going to take a, it for five years. <laughs> no, it's not like, it's not anything that's, you know, I, neither one of us wants to put it off. We just got to do it. 
No, and look. It's hard to find a good spot. Uh, that's for sure. Um, and then, I, you know, I was starting to read a bunch of stuff about, like, uh, just real estate and the economy and how there's a lot of people being like, it's going to crash pretty bad kind of thing. And I was like, right. I have to get out of this zone. Like I went down a rabbit hole of nerd shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe we could take advantage of that. Well, a real estate like inventory has never been lower ever in history. <laughs> I'm like, I need to get a new place, but I'm trying to wait. I'm trying to wait a little bit. Dude. I mean, a li- it, just like something, not even houses, but cars now. Yeah, so cars car- are worth more than what you paid for them now. It's like, how, like what is happening? Yeah, rental companies are buying cars uh, from people. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Um, I don't, I don't get it either. I mean, I know it's supply chain related, uh, and that that sucks balls because, like, not only do I have a sad dad pad place I want to move out of a- ASAP, yeah, but I've got the dad wagon. Yeah, you got to upgrade. Two big upgrades, you guys. <laughs> I know. And then uh, like the two biggest. <laughs> and then uh, what's it called? Uh, battery died in the dad wagon. It's got one hundred seventy-seven thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> Literally four years ago, I was like, "You're gonna get a new car, dude." I and I'm like, <laughs> "For like sure, dude. For sure." Track. Once I once I get out of this divorce thing, you um, like, like my tire blew out on the side of the road. It was so scary. That was fucking like, crazy, I was dude. Like you gotta, but that, you gotta get out of that, that car, was, man. That was on the um, still going. No, that was on the uh, tires, the new tires I got from Hanuk, the uh, Korean company. Hankook. Yeah. Hankook tires. Um, that's good. And then, that's pretty good. Uh, and then, I know, like, I said it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, and then. I don't give a shit. That, so that tire popped like September, started a new gig. How do you remember We're, that? Uh, because it was like my second day going into the new gig from the office you're at now. Uh, and I was like, oh my God. And it blew to like, it looked like shredded taco, like fucking cheese. And I was, I was, I was driving on the rim, like a cartoon, like, I would have liked to see that. And then, uh, that actually brings me to what I wanted to throw out there is I got triple a cause I'm a guy that doesn't really, I like to claim I don't have the time to work on the car, but I just don't know a lot about cars and. Doing DIYing it, you know, AAA doesn't come and work on your car like a oil change sort of thing. No, no, no. One that that breaks, right? that I'm talking about like. Last time you got an oil change, no big deal. AAA is going to swing on by. Get yeah, don't they do that? Go. I don't have any wiper fluid. Do they do that too? That I think they actually do do. Do they do I do? Think so, well, here's a stupid even... cheap shit like that that doesn't really. The da- like wow, wiper fluid, huh? <laughs> the dad Never wagon. Really it's almost a classic because I think to be a classic you got to be twenty years old. So it's an 03. So technically it might be a classic this year. Okay. Because you do the year above the year it comes out. You usually get one of those antique license plates where you can only drive on Sundays. Yeah, maybe I get a tax write off because it's, it's like a, a historical <laughs> yeah, <event>. a historical <laughs> landmark. Um, and so don't move it. I I well I want to I, I really want to drive it until it's completely like not fixable basically. Wow, nah. mm. Or I, or. The uh, Cybertruck comes out. Safe. It's it's still like safe. We're never gonna get a Cybertruck, man. I know. And I just saw, I saw some stat about that. That was like, because I was like, how many people, <laughs> how many people did a reservation or like whatever? Um, right. A deposit. Yeah. <laughs> a million people did. <laughs> yeah. Dude. So we're. I don't know what. I forget if they gave us a number like a, de- a deli ticket when we did it. Right. But I'm like I'm probably up there. Probably up there. Um. Uh, now that might be a bunch of people that you can get it refunded, but it's still, um, so triple a, how does it work as a business model? I don't really get it. It's I work per- for AAA. What? Yeah. All right. Gainesville Sweet. Office. Let me tell really, you what really lucked into this one. This is. Cause I was going to have to do some Googling on the fly. <laughs> Woo. Thank God. Um, it's got, I, can I take dude. a guess? It's gotta be the upsell of like, they get you in. And then they try to get, like, I just got something like shitty life insurance from them mm-hmm. offer. It's got to be all that stuff. Like, the, all the other products. Right. Yeah. The, I mean, it's basically um, call center. What I was doing was call center shit. I hated it. Where you're calling people to sell AAA memberships. And, you know, there's two tiers. There's the plus one. And then there's the other one. And it was like, the difference was... 
the cheap one was you could get a five mile tow, and the expensive one was like a twenty mile tow or something like right. that. Right. So they call platinum now. Like the the fact that they even hired me, as <laughs> if they needed somebody else in the fold, was like, what am I supposed to be doing here? Like, it would just be these fucking worn out lead lists. Like that, right? Oh, like, you're that, like you're call you're cold calling, and there's like four people doing the same shit in like one, and it was like, wait a second, Th- this is not gonna work. Like, <laughs> there's no way you can make money off of this because like you didn't get shit paid on. Like, think about how much a membership is for a year. So Ninety that, bucks. That's I'm doing the math both times. The tire right. blowing out and yesterday, and I'm like, oh, oh as the consumer, it's good. Yeah, I mean, it's I, definitely I, worth it. But I'm like, how, this it one time. Well, I'm always in that like, if it's too good to be true, it usually is kind of thing. I, but I, I, I know AAA exists because I've been around enough times. You know, my family's used it growing up, kind of thing. Or right, but or you're whatever. right. Whatever. But I'm like, okay, when my tire blew out, they came and fixed it. Yeah. Um, put on put on the spare for me because I couldn't. Uh, it was the rim was like probably on give the you ground. A water. Uh, I actually gave him a bottle of water. Oh, excuse that's my, me, that's, sir. that's my thing. I know. I heard if you, you know, you bring someone in your house to work on stuff, offer them something to drink. Yes, it puts them in a better mood for whatever reason, like immediately. Sure. Um, yeah. So anyway, especially if they're thirsty. Fix the tire. He was like, um, you know, uh, you may want to go get whatever you know lug nuts to cover so you can put the cover back on. Haven't done it. Um, and then he left, and I was like, I would. What do I owe you? And he was like, oh, no, it's covered in your membership. And I'm like, you just fucking came out you here. You just did a lot of shit there, man. A lot of shit. Like, this wasn't your normal. I could do my, I think I could do my own tire. About it. I think that's what's weird about it is we place, realistically, what they're doing is not that complicated ever. But like, it's they're all, not diagnosing and fixing anything crazy with your car. They're changing tires. They're putting oil in it. They're towing your car. Like, I, there's like a, a, like a set of like 10 tasks. I think I don't know. And none of them are that hard. But as men, we're like, no. Well, if they do it for you, you're like, man, that's worth like a million dollars, man. No, well, I'm, I'm like, if it was as much as insurance costs, you know, car insurance costs per month, I would get that. But it's a hundred dollars a year or fifty dollars a sure. year, depending on like whatever membership you have. So you're like, okay, a hundred. That I mean, that basically covered that hour. Yeah. Oh, I mean, if you think about it, at this point, they're probably. Selling all their data, you know, they're probably they must have a fucking crazy amount of data on people in America, at least, where it's like they're using that, they're selling their insurance, whatever other black magic hullabaloo they're selling on the other side. Maps that was, that was a weird thing because they would have people calling in, Can you plan a whole trip for me? <laughs> sure, lady, that's kind of quaint. I'll print out all the map quest directions. Um. Yeah, yeah. MapQuest. That was that was a long time ago. Yeah. How, how long ago was that? Twenty years. I was in Gainesville. Yeah. Yeah. There's a big office here for AAA, and it's like, like a fucking campus, like a huge building. Um, in the area, I drive by it all the time, and it's like, it's a nonprofit, fully tax paying mutual benefit company, with mm-hmm. no shareholders. Interesting. And, yeah. Nonprofit. Yeah, it's uh, it, and then it's like what I put. It's like what's uh, AAA's business model? It's uh, uh, it's a hundred year old company. It says too, and it's like, yeah. I guess they make. I, it's got to be an upsell on insurance and travel and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Insurance, I bet's where they do all their business. They they definitely have like retirement stuff. They try to send you all the time too. Now that I think about it. Oh, uh, like for like. You know, do your own retirement savings plan oh. through whatever they're. But the the other part is they they outsource the the service part. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they do have their own trucks. They do. But there's a lot of like, especially rural areas. I'm your official certified AAA <laughs> technician. Right. Yeah. If, um, the the app looks. We are official pretty, partners. The app looks pretty crusty still, but uh, it was nice to see like an Uber Eats style like. Oh, he's gonna be here. Like he's on the map. Yeah. I can see him coming. Yeah, that's like back in the day. That sucked. You just you if you had a phone, right, or service where you're at. Yeah, um, that's like old school having to walk to the gas station, make yeah. a phone call. Exactly. Waiting sucks. What am I supposed to do? Look at these stupid trees. <laughs> Come on. Um, 
Yeah, I was just like, how does this shit work? I don't, I don't, I still don't get it. Like, I, I don't think I've I would anywhere bet, different than when I walked in here. But I wonder what they get from the government subsidies wise. They got to get something as a nonprofit, huh? Um. Well, you would get the tax benefit of a nonprofit. I would say that's the biggest I'll part. I'll bet you there's some other part to it. And there's probably grants. I'll bet you that dude running AAA is balling out. Oh, you can be a nonprofit and still make a shit ton of money as the okay, executive director. You can. Yeah. Uh, you like know, forty million dollars a year. Yeah, I don't know. It, we'll we'll get to the bottom of this. I'm sure. <laughs> We're coming after you, AAA, but also definitely like listen to our calls and shit. Yeah, if yeah, we yeah. break down, like we're just joking. Hey, uh, if you're the executive director of AAA, you know, call in. Yeah, we could use you. That's not what I meant, but you yeah. know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, uh, we did have. Um, uh, I was telling you before we started, we had kind of an interesting. I had an interesting phone call on the way over here from uh, a listener of this show. Yes. Um. So this uh, young gal uh, that sent me an in mail and LinkedIn. And was like, it was like, it was written like all the bot sales emails I get. Right. I get pro- how many of those a day do you probably get? Oh, I don't even know. I don't even check them. <laughs> you don't even like? I mean, they're, you know, I don't want to go through my process of determining <laughs> what might be real and what's not. What do you mean? Nothing. I'm just saying. Like, what, wait, there's, don't you, you could do a 30,000 foot view of things and be like, that one's probably real, that one's probably real. Oh, you just kind of wing my it? Secret sauce. Huh? You just kind of wing it? No, I'm saying I can pick out the fakes pretty easily, usually. Yeah, because it'll be like, it'll have your title and what shoehorned in there. Yes. Or it'll have like Brackets. the name of the a brand that you're working for in there. Yes. In a weird way. So it'd be like, I like Sweat Equity Podcast. It right. is a great show. If I talk to you about our, you're using your phone service. <laughs> yeah. Well, this get voice over IP for sweat equity. But I'm like, do you even <laughs> fucking pay attention to any of this shit? No, because like we have some sort of office where we're calling each other back and forth. I get a lot of like, so are, clear. Hey, are you recruiting? Let me help you with that. And I'm like, what? No. Did you look up anything? Yeah. Um, recruiting firms. What is that? Well, Talk about a weird thing. Recruiting firms, fine. I'm I'm fine with that because I think there's a problem to solve there. I don't think we're that yeah. good. I don't think we're really that good at hiring people uh, on the whole. But thanks for yes ending <laughs> shitting on recruiting firms. Um, well, what do you what do you want to shit on? Like, what's what's wrong with them? No, it just seems very piggybackish. Like, oh, I'll do that for you, and then they take a huge big out. That just seems. I don't know. Yeah, the human capital term that started coming around about 10 years ago feels pretty gross. Right. Um, on its own. But it's like the good one, it's just like any service business. The good ones will find good people to get them kind of matched up. And the, the shitty ones will just be crusty and yeah. you know, try to uh, yeah, take that it, short, I don't short know. cash. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of all the middleman businesses. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, like intermediaries exist for some reason. Like, yeah. There's definitely a sector that needs to be there because, uh, goddamn, like the small businesses, so small to medium businesses can't. They do it try to vertically have their own people do it, and it sure. Sucks. No, I'm talking super granular. You know, well, we talk between these two types of servers over the internet, sort of shit. Oh, it's like, ugh, right. You know, that's what I meant. The one, the ones that are really interesting that I've seen are bots because sometimes I'll just say yes, right. Um just to see what's going to happen next. Uh, they do it like dating apps where they have like fake bots of hot, kind of hot chicks, but right, a professional sure. hot chick. Right. Not too hot. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I'm going to get you to my guy, Steve. <laughs> and you're like, oh, Steve I, hot or? I, and then you look at the profile, you're like, I don't think this is a real person. <laughs> uh, that, that was, orig- I think it's Steve as an avatar of a hot chick. Right. Thanks, overseas. Steve. Can't wait to talk to Steve. <laughs> um, so, so uh, this this gal who just uh, graduated USF was like, the in mail was like, uh, can I just talk uh, like get fifteen minutes of your time? Which is the line that everyone asks in those right. salesy LinkedIn things. Change the number of minutes. Can I get nine minutes of your time? Well, and it was an in mail, which I'm like, why would a why would a girl spend any money? I think it costs money to do that. Or do you have? I want money. <laughs> I want money. <laughs> I want money. I want money. I've been doing that by myself in I my know, place. I know, me too. Um, shout out to Steve G. Edwards. 
I want money. <laughs> Premier virtual. Live on forever, Steve. Um, he's coming back on uh, this summer. Um, what's it called? So that, I, like, I was like, why? I'm, I'm like, uh, this is very dubious, but I'm going to see it through because if it is genuine, then I, you know, we'd want to help someone out that sure. listens to the show. So talked to her on the drive over here. She's she's not from the U.S., from a, like, Eastern European company or country and was like, you know, how do I get, how do I get then, you know, to the marketing world? And I was like, oh, you, this is a real call. You really want to, like, and I was like, listen to our it's podcast. It's kind of sad that she's like, graduated and then it's like so how do i do it well i was just like they didn't it sucks that they don't be like hey this is like you know this is the sort of job you're going to be looking for like that sort of shit it's like no we just teach the classes you figure it out from there yeah i mean it's like why don't they teach like budgeting in high school all that shit like personal budgeting and stuff like that personal finances um you know I, i put it under that heading but at the same time i think she transferred over here like her senior year of college or something. I try to look her up. Oh. Um, so it's not like one of those things where I don't know if she has connections to the area. Like, sure. Has it been here that long kind of deal? So it was like, I, I, was, I was like, you know, we have a, a podcast. I'm on my way over there to record it. This episode, uh, talking about to sit through 26 minutes of bullshit. Oh, I told her, I was like, dole out any um, advice, but don't worry. Uh, we don't have a guest today, so I'm probably going to bring this up on air. Uh, <laughs> Um, well, no, a, it was cool because, you know, we can get stagnant with the show sometimes. And so sometimes it's good to have that like little validation. Oh, cause she was like, Oh, I've listened to that's how I got to you kind of thing. And I was like, Oh, oh. interesting. So you might have an email too. If you check yours <laughs> with oh. one eye from far away. Right. Um, but, uh, so that in, on the ego side, that feels good for us. Sure. So what did, uh, that was her question. What did you tell her? Well, I was just like, um, you know, there's two uh, two things I would say. Like, all right, I gave her homework. I was like, push pull method. You tell me how to get into the marketing world. No, you're a brand, right? You are a brand. See see it that way. You need to sell yourself, make yourself a product, take yourself out of it. Um, and I go, what value do you have? Why should anybody hire you? What's your what skill set do you have? Right. Write that list down. Just start there. And like, okay, you're from the, uh, this country. Like, uh, do you, you, you're fluent in that language and English. And she's like, oh, I actually know three languages. I was like, oh, well, one thing you can't, that's something I would, that's a value add. Take it easy I would with call the ego. Well, I would go, that's, that's huge. Especially, you know, if people are making content here that's for readers over there, in the country she speaks the language of, that's a huge value add because you put stuff in Google Translate and it's always fucked up. Yes. So there's always you always need a human element to make sure like this actually makes sense. They and would not never robotic. say that there. Right. Slaying shit. Um, yeah, like Eastern European. I'm guessing not a lot of emotion. <laughs> how did she take that advice? She was like, "This great, you know." Like, um, and then I was like, "So that's like a, you know, really start." looking inward, do the, what we talked about with like people that need to figure out their brand for their company, like go to the woods, do shrooms, sit by yourself and really go, what, what are my best at? Don't do all three of those at the same time. Well, Not, yeah. Don't shroom by yourself in the woods. I don't want, I don't recommend that. It's meta. It's a metaphor. A spotter. Just but at all times. What I'm trying, I'm using a, a, a silly like metaphor to make it have sticking power with people, but it's right, like, right. But you're also in the advice portion of the show, right? So, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, go go inward first. That's always the thing. Like, what what am I best at? What do I like to do the most? Because uh, those might not be the best things. What skills do I have to provide? Right? Yeah. Um, and then like. Uh, what are the like extra credit things? Like, you know, you can do that. You can, you can carry 50 pounds of boxes or something, you know, like shit like that. The little stuff, anything, any value add. What? What? Some jobs make you have that. What? <laughs> you have to carry like, yeah. be able to carry 20 pounds. Amazon lows. No, I've had, I've had like. Not a lot of marketing coming in. I mean, unless you're doing. It was on when I was at Marketopia. When you're. With the director you're of strategy. It was on there. I swear to God. And I was like, okay, that doesn't seem like. Didn't want any uh, twinks. That's all. 
Oh, uh, thick that, thighs like, save lives, yeah, Eric. That leg power. Thick thighs save lives. Uh, so I said push-pull method, like we talk about with any company, right? Like, okay, you have the gumption to do this, to reach out to me. You can, you can start targeting where you want to work or yeah, what kind of company. PR. What kind of company do you want to work for, right? Kind of like what Dean tells us. You don't have to show up in their lobby nowadays, but like this is the best time to – Go, I want to work in this kind of company with this amount of employees, this kind of culture, these benefits, entry level, and then maybe you have to get another job on the side to kind of supplement it, you know, to get your foot in the door. Sure. Um, a lot of these companies have somebody that you're better than. Oh, and look. They might not have an opening. But at the entry you level? they blow their tits off. In know? marketing, the entry level shit, or they just need someone fucking logical and competent. That, I mean, like, goddamn, that's, there's. You definitely need to be willing to learn. Yeah. And I, that, that's what I said. I go, all right, so what are your soft skills, like not your tech skills? Like I know Excel, I know Word, all that shit. And I go, what are your soft skills? Like I was asked this the other day. I go, I think I'm a good communicator. I think I'm effective in finding out like uh, people that hate digital, that are low tech or no tech, and that hire marketing people that they already hate marketing too, right? Because that's why they're hiring you. They're because they can't do it and they're frustrated by it. Right. So you're usually coming in at like ex boyfriend or rebound boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, I think I'm an effective communicator in explaining what's going on to anybody who doesn't like my parents. Except I can't explain what I do to my parents. Uh, I was like, anybody who just doesn't know that you left that out that last part. The tech explaining to your parents. I I've tried many a times to explain what I do like what I'm good at professionally to my parents, uh-huh. like many times. And they still are just like, it, it, it's right. like if my dad was like talking you play to me, computer it, games. It, 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 yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, you got that compact, but sorry, we got you in 95. That, right. that taught you, you everything. Never play with that anymore. Why don't you play with that? anymore? I'm like, mom, I taught myself visual basic three, like by myself on a fucking oh, 95. Rag. Wow. It was a nerd dude. Winamp stealing progs, bro. Yeah. yeah little chat rooms. Um, but I was saying, so you want to go out and get stuff. You need to make yourself s- saleable. So what are your best skills? I said, like, you know, Eric and I talk about the show. You have to learn how to learn on the fly. Yeah. And that's something. Learn how to Google stuff straight up. I, I literally said that. I go, honestly, learning how to find the YouTube video you need to figure out something when you're under the gun. Yeah. And go, all right, tonight after work, I'm going to have to learn this. But finding, or it's like stock video or stock photo, that's a whole skill to find what you want yeah. in your brain. Yeah. Because, like, it's not tagged correctly, so you have to kind of know, like, the ins and outs of that. I go, be autodidactic. You know, uh, teach yourself. Show them, have a, uh, and then have a story of explaining that. Yeah. I mean, straight up, decide, like, if you have an idea of what you want to do, <laughs> look into what kind of, like. Are you struggling? Your voice sounds like it's dying. I got a you know, bug in my throat. Uh, look into like what do kind of software today. <laughs> that those sorts of jobs use. Like, I guarantee you, the Adobe Suite for any job is helpful. Yep, pretty much like some, even if it's the the PDF one. Yeah, and then um, learn that one. So I said, like, all right, so the push pull method of like, all right, you're going to start targeting and going and applying once you set yourself up, and then the pulling into your brand is like. Hey, you know, looked at your profile to make sure you weren't a machine. Uh, uh, right. The, the uh, La Machina or whatever. Um, That's what it is. La Machina. What is it called? What's that movie? DSX Machina. That's what I'm saying. Um, what's it called? Uh, you know, I keyworded up my profile. It doesn't even read well, but I keyworded it up a while back, a couple months ago, and I, I, I could show you like the quality kind of uh, inquiries, like, work-wise, Good. coming my way, Good. In, in addition to me going out looking yeah, for the next thing. true. You've had a windfall. What do you mean? Uh, oh, yeah, like, I've had, like, it's crazy how many, like, legit, and, and I was like, look, this is the best time ever. You're in the best position that I, I've, I know of in the work, working force for, like, a keyboard soft job. Yeah. This is a great resignation. People can't find anybody. Right. And so your entry level, you might start at entry level and immediately go to like an associate level, no problem. And if you don't have a problem going into an office. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, you're an athlete. That, Use like, that too. Like you're in a team yeah. sport. Like that 
to me, to me, if I was hiring a lot of people, I want to find out if they had some kind of volunteering on a team kind of experience. Can they be the specialist and generalist? That's really what I'm looking for. Yeah. You know, can you, they go do their own thing, but also collaborate when necessary and be, and be selfless too. I'm really curious how much talking, like the ratio was between the two of you. Oh, dude, you know, it's 99%. I was just like, I was in the zone. (laughs) Yeah. Um, uh, I'm mainly because, you know, it's not that hard. Like that's why we get people on the show because they're happy to talk about anything they've learned in their life, you know? Uh. And I'm, I'm, I do that. I would do that every time I got in the car. If that, if there's like a supply of people wanting to talk their career through, not that I'm the best, you know, got all my shit together, but I think what we have here is something that we're figuring out as we go. And there's a timeline, you know, of all the episodes and whatnot. Yes, there is a timeline. Hey, they go back. Time's a flat time. circle, dude. Yeah, man. What? Hey, man. What? Are we done? I'm sorry. Are we done? Yeah. You got anything else? Not really. It was fun. Good catching up. Yeah, Elon Musk. You said uh, I like that he's back in our Twitter. That was my only other thing. Oh, he is for real. He they were like five uh, percent. They said 5% of all the users are bots on there. And he's like, uh, we did the research. It's like ooh, probably higher than 20%. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? None of them follow us. What about my sweat equity? Boom. Sweat equity. Sweat, 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 sweat equity. My sweat equity. My pits are stink. I didn't fart. Sweat equity. I didn't fart. What? What about my sweat equity? It's a mature program here. Mm Mm-hmm.